So my friends, I am far from being a farmer, as you can tell. <laughs> These are little yams <laughs> that came out my garden. <laughs> Not much to brag about, but I have scotch bonnet. <laughs> my own scotch bonnet pepper. Look at that. Ready to harvest. <laughs> what else could I ask for? <laughs> Scotch bonnet in my own backyard. So <laughs> I have um uh, I have a couple harvested already. I'm gonna let this ripe some more and probably give it away to the neighbors. I have enough to put in my pot of soup, so, <laughs> but look at it, my own pepper tree man, <laughs> I'll show you a few more, there's another one coming to come, more yams coming up from scrap, I uh, suppose from my compost that I uh, throw around the root of this tree. Rosemary on its way. I won't need any for the soup today, but I think I'm gonna wait a little bit before I uh, start harvesting. Um, these things uh, really get um, uh, grow quite well, um, about six, seven feet at times, and they uh, spread quite a bit. So I'm gonna wait for maturity. Lemongrass, I won't need save it for later. But I have another pepper tree um, which is uh, now blossoming, the budding rather, and uh, soon there'll be more peppers to give away. I have also thyme, which looks a little bit uh, scraggly. I have dried thyme inside, which I'm gonna use today in my soup. Good day, good day, dear friends. I hope you're having a fantastic day. A day as good as mine. Today I am making soup, what I would call no rules pea soup, <laughs> i show you what I had. So in my pot, I have a combination of um, pigeon peas, pinto beans, kidney beans, black beans and um, the addition to those will be um, some pumpkin, turnips, chayato or chayate or chocho as we know it in Jamaica and the, uh, some yellow yam, uh, some garlic and cilantro. I will uh, saute the, um, oh by the way. <laughs> The king of this is going to be the chicken feet, steppers as we call it. Um, and um, just say for flavor, some vegetable soup mix, which I will show later. So for now, the process of my uh, of, um, making my soup will be to first boil the beans initially, I would call scald them initially, pour the water off, boil them again, turn the stove off, let it sit for a considerable period of time, then I'm going to add my chicken feet and we'll take it from there. That's the start. <laughs> okay dear friends, so here I go, I'm straining the uh, first set of um, water off as I indicated earlier and so 
Um, so here we go. So the first set of water, I bring the uh, beans to boil, and I'm straining off the first set of water, and uh, yes. <laughs> So after straining off the first set of water, I'm going to, let's see the camera can pick this up. So my friends, okay, yes, yes. So it was on the other line, friends, uh, discreetly. <laughs> My water is filtered. By the way, it's a um, whole host filtered water. So I'm confident in using uh, this water. So now, I'm going to return this to the stove. So the friends now in the final stage of uh, preparing the uh, steppers. Wash these things. Get rid of the uh, <laughs> get rid of the nails. Nails off and uh, season and saute them, and back in the pot for the soup. All right. Let's get these nails off.
until the nails are gone. I want to uh, season a little bit here with um, garlic salt. Vegan, this would be the time. <laughs> You're looking at these steppers, <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna crack these uh, these garlic gloves. Them up. Sorted them along with the uh, steppers. And get ready to blend everything with the soup. Back, you'll get a full picture. All right, let's get some oil in the pot. Let's crank it up a little bit. Wait for the oil to heat up. Nice and hot, ready for the garlic. Peppers. Flavor and so, 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 so. 
the roll. Oh, let's get some time in there. down the heat just a little bit so I'm allowed to cook there so these are brown enough and they're going into the pot these are cooked I'm not going to puree the cheese, I'm going to um, consume them however they are. Um, that the uh, chicken cheese going in, they were pretty much cooked to a pulp by the time I'm done, or um, obliterated, <laughs> for that matter. And uh, I'll come back and share with you the progress. First, Chicken feet's going in. Got this cooked for a little bit. I'm gonna add um, all the other um, ingredients: the uh, the yam, um, the uh, chocho, the chayote, the uh, the turnip, and uh, later on some dumpling. Stay tuned. Okay, dear friends. So here we go. Here we have it: the uh, turnip, the carrots, and uh, chayote. Or chocho, chayote, <laughs> chocho, um, is uh, ready to uh, hit the pot. All right. Again. Chicken feet will be cooked to a pulp. Soup, no rules, in progress. Okay, my friends, so the building block of uh, soup, no rules, <laughs> is underway. My next addition to that will be the uh, pumpkin, yellow yam, YTM and dumpling in a little bit and then to finish it off it's gonna be my uh, vegetable soup mix now I did not add enough salt in my uh, soup simply because um, I had the soup mix which is about um, 500 milligrams of sodium per pack so after adding the uh, soup mix I'll determine how much more salt I'll need to add no rules okay dear friends time to make time to make the dough uh, it's a little bit on the healthy side I want to make the dumplings so I'm gonna go for a little bit of uh, all-purpose flour I'm going to add a little bit of wheat
wholesome, does it? Uh, let's do one more wheat in there. I'm gonna go for a little bit of almond flour. I am lightening the uh, glycemic load by uh, blending my dumpling. Not all white flour. the noise in your ears. A little bit of white cornmeal. Flavor it with a little bit of salt. Let's find that. Let's see this, a little sea salt. Not too salty. Okay, that should do it. And I'll be kneading the dough. <laughs> so dumpling, the dough is set. Dumplings ready to be made. That's it. Break this off in small little pieces. soup dumpling so they'll be small. I can do I can do the ball, flatten them down. That should be about this size. Or I can do what will appear to be torpedo style. As if you're making a festival. Which one I'll do. I think I'll go for the round ones. A little bit. Then we're heading in the soup. That's it, pretty much. <laughs> so, my friends, everything is in the pot. Dumpling, the whole caboodle. Still need a little bit of flavor, so I'm gonna add to that uh, some uh, bouillon. So, uh, in order to give it the, uh, the flavor I'm looking for, the uh, two pack of uh, soup mix did not do the job um, as anticipated. So, adding some bouillon for flavor. I've added a healthy portion that should. Uh, Bring the taste into Umami. So my friends, after several hours cooking, the soup is finally ready. Let's take a look. Nice and creamy. Lots of peas. Or beans for that matter. <laughs> By the way, as I mentioned before in a few of my videos in Jamaica bees, beans <laughs> I use one generic word it's peas man <laughs> anyway um, this is ready to go as you can see there's still some of the uh, steppers uh, intact I would have preferred if they're all dissolved, but it didn't happen this time, <laughs> which means I need to cook it longer next time. But the soup is nice and creamy, um, so uh, no puree needed. I'm going to dish it out. My bowl is ready to go. Um, let me do this to do this on the right. I may have to move my pot over a little bit. Here we go. Oh, let's move this over closer. Like 
get some steppers out. Get a little bit of yam in the bowl. Let's find some dumpling. Oh, nice and creamy. Oh man, couldn't I have, uh, couldn't I have a better result. weather is absolutely perfect for soup. And don't mind, I'm going to put a little bit of, um, my bowl is ready, I'm going to add a little bit of cilantro. Cilantro is oftentimes a quiet taste. Don't mind the soapiness of it. It's loaded with health benefit. So my friends, this is where I leave this is where I let this is where I will leave it off. <laughs> I had a few glasses of wine by the way. Um, thanks for cooking with me. Until next time. This is your Jamaican in Move. Off camera. One love. As a reminder, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until then, love you, my friends. Peace.